All right, welcome back to our Magic Square project. In the last video, we created the Magic Square class and a method to populate our square. And in this video, we're just going to make a quick uh, runner to generate uh, different size Magic Squares. So let's go ahead and add our runner class. So we're going to say um, public class runner um, square runner. Or we can say generator. And then we're going to do public static void main string args. And we'll create an instance of the scanner class. We can enter the size um, of our square. And we'll need to import the scanner class. All right, and we'll create an input variable and we'll set it, oops, int input is equal to negative one because none of our squares will be negative one, so that can be our default and we'll say while input is less than or equal to zero and, loop. and main and class. That'll help us keep our curly braces, um, track of our curly braces. So as long as our number is less than zero or equal to zero We'll print out that we want them to enter the size of the square. And we're just doing an odd numbers. So then we'll say um, input is equal to reader dot next int. And if input is, and again, if input is less than or equal to zero, we want to um, repeat this message. So we'll do it once outside of the loop, and once inside of the loop. Um, and we'll make sure that it's um, a number. Now we could um, use math.abs to make sure that it's a positive number. So we could say um, math.abs input, and that should guarantee that it's a positive number. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll compile to make sure we don't have any errors. Okay, so it doesn't like us using that. Let's do it this way. We'll overwrite input with. Let's try that. There we go. All right, so that would, would gain, make sure that we have a positive number up oh, and we need to add it. No, we're good. All right, so let's try to run our square. I'll enter three and we're not printing out the square yet. So what we have to do is create an instance of the square inside of the loop. 
we'll say magic square square or my square is equal to magic square and then we want to pass in the input and then we'll solve the magic square, so we'll say my square dot solve, and then we'll print out the square. So system dot out dot print ln my square, and let's just make sure that our constructor takes an input of size, and it does. And then we're calling the solve method, and then we're printing it out. So now let's compile and it should work for us. Oh, we have one error. Oh, is it a spelling? M-A-G-I-C. It says, cannot find symbol. Okay, so I, I think what our issue is here is that it says it can it thinks that magic square is a method and that we're trying to pass in a variable input and the reason it thinks it's a method is because when we generate an instance of a class we have to use the new keyword okay okay so now let's test our magic square so we'll hit run and we'll do just a small magic square and it's working so you can see that oops our magic constant happens to be 0 instead of 15 so we've got to fix that but it is generating a magic square alright so it's not generating our magic constant so if we go into magic square and we look at our two string we notice that we're trying to print out what the magic constant is without, without ever calculating it. So what we have to do is every time through the loop we have to calculate it. So we're going to add a line here that says magic constant is equal to magic constant plus square let me see, yeah, which is the name of our array, square at row and zero. Or basically i and zero if you're still using i and j. Let's, let's see if that fixes it. So we're going to go and save that file, go back to our main, hit compile, and we'll run and add a three in there. And now it's generating it. Fine, let's try a larger square. So we'll run again and we'll do a 5 by 5, and that's generating it fine. And we'll test it out by entering an even number. And it's generating a square, but um, it's probably an incorrect number because um, this method for population should only populate. Uh, odd squares. Let's run it again. What happens if we enter a negative number? We get an error that basically says that we should enter a positive number and then it's throwing um, a negative array size exception because it doesn't um, because we don't have that number in our array. So um, Later on in the course, we're going to learn how to do try-catch statements to catch some of these exceptions. Um, see you next time. Bye.